Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Today we're gonna to talk about high yield soybeans at the PTI farm. As we look at the top 10 return on investment items at the PTI farm this year in 2020, high yield soybeans came in at number two this year. 20 inch row soybeans, but look at that, that, that ROI, that return on investment number approaching about $160 an acre. If we can do this thing right, increasing soybean yields, I think this offers some excellent opportunities for return on investment. Let's talk about what we did here in our high management yield trials in soybeans. The first part we're gonna talk about is in 20 inch rows. I am a, a good advocate of 20 inch rows. Everybody always asks me, well, what's the difference between 20 inch rows and 15 inch rows? And I usually say nothing until you spray them. That's the, the reason I like 20 inch rows because I can fit my sprayer down a 20 inch row without running over the beans. That's the problem with 15 inch rows. We fight tooth and nail to get these things up out of the ground. And then when you go to spray them, you just run them over and you kill them. So that's one of the reasons I like 20 inch rows. Plus, if you're a grower that has some white mold situations and you need just a little bit of a wider row without going um, to 30 inch rows, this is a, um, a pretty nice situation. But we were growing 75.7 bushel beans as our control, which I think are great soybeans. Those are good yields. But look at the advantages in yield as we look at some of our high management techniques with irrigation and with crop nutrition, picking up yield advantages of 19.9 to 25.6 bushel soybeans. It's incredible. And this isn't the first time we've done this. And I think irrigation and nutrition are just a huge part of this. But when we can do both of those things, we've got the opportunity to push soybeans like we've never pushed them before. One interesting thing with these 20 inch row beans that gave us some really nice yield, um, you know, we were growing 101.13 bushel with the highest yield, I guess, out in the, at the PTI farm. We introduced a cover crop. And I know cover crops are a huge trend in the industry right now. We've been trying to utilize them at PTI. We've failed at them and we've had a little success with them, but it's something that we're working on each and every year. We tried a cover crop with our 20 inch row soybeans. Here's how we did it. Here's kind of an app applicator that we've got at PTI. We bring this thing in in the fall and we can seed our cover crop. Once we get the crop established, we come in with a strip till bar, we make our strips. Then in the spring, we just plant right into them. And this has been a fairly easy situation for us to manage. We don't have all of that, that cover crop material going through the planter. We've got it in alternating strips between the 20 inch rows. So it's actually been, been a lot easier to manage. I'm really, really interested in where we can take management of these soybeans with drip irrigation. There you see my, my drip irrigation on, on the screen. That drip line sits between the row, usually in the center of a row. This one's pushed over just a, a bit because we had a blowout. We ran our pressure high and, and we actually had an explosion of the drip and we had to go mend it, we had to repair it. And when this tape was leaking, it, it was causing erosion, kind of melting the soil away and it exposed the root system of the soybean plants. And this I thought was fascinating. When you look at the screen here, underneath the drip tape, you'll see that, that root system there. That doesn't look like a soybean root, does it? It looks more like a corn root. This is what's happening with our drip irrigation. We're putting water and we're putting nutrition right at the row of the soybeans and it knows it's there and there's this explosion of root activity and that's one of the reasons I think we're we're picking up 19 to 25 bushel gains in soybeans. You know the root system here it's it's really fascinating. You can go in a 30 inch row where we've got some of this drip and you can just scratch away in the center you know between the the, the two rows in the center of a 30 inch row scratch away about a half inch of soil and these, these soybean roots, like you see on the screen, are right there. You know, most people think soybeans are a tap root. The root goes straight down. You look at the root system we have here. This is a big fibrous root system. Again, this, this it's an explosion of roots. It's incredible, the architecture and how it's changing where we're offering this, this high management in soybeans. I mentioned 20 inch rows and going over 100, 101 bushel in 20 inch rows. What about in 30 inch rows? Can we grow high yielding beans in 30s? Yeah, sure, it shows up number four in our, our top ROI products. Uh, we're just under $100 here, actually at $93.35 per acre. How did we do it? Well, irrigation as well, but again, crop nutrition. A lot of times we talk about crop nutrition on the planter with corn, but I'm telling you, this has been a major player in soybeans. Again, it's a relay system. We start where the seed's at in the furrow, the furrow jet center, we relay to the wings of furrow jet and then to conceal, and this has given us yield increases anywhere from 2.4 on the low side to the high side of nearly 15 bushel to the acre. So crop nutrition has allowed us to pick up yield. Look at the dollars and cents of the crop nutrition program in soybeans. I actually failed in Furrow Jet Center. We lost money. 
I lost two dollars and sixty cents. I, I I picked up some yield, but it, what this shows me is it was just too expensive. I didn't get enough yield to pay for the product. So that teaches us to to kind of reevaluate. Let's look at some other products there to see if we can correct this. But then from there, look at Furrowjet wings. Almost a sixteen dollar gain per acre. And then even better, we go to conceal. Major horsepower here with over $36 of net income. This is after the cost of the product. Guys always say, well, you know, I've got conceal on the planter. You know, I'm putting nitrogen on corners or something else, uh, else that I can do with it. And I say, yeah, we can use it in soybeans. And we've been using some products on the farm that have just been excellent. Matter of fact, some of the products over the last four years have never lost us money on a per acre basis. And this graph just kind of shows Conceal is some major horsepower for us when we use products correctly to try to drive yield. Today's Inside PTI Agronomy Tip of the Day is, you know, we've learned some things at the PTI farm to try to grow high yield soybeans. I think reduced tillage, such as strip till, has offered some, some excellent yields for us. I think we've gotten into some, some problems with conventional tillage with soil density layers. I think we can grow high yield soybeans in both a narrow row, like 20 inch uh, row beans, and we can also do it in wider rows like 30s. I think both of them can offer high yield under the right high management environments. What about planter nutrients? I think planter applied nutrients have been somewhat easy to push yields. And I say that because of things like Conceal, the products that we're putting in Conceal, it, you know, they're safe. We're taking crop safety out of the mix here. Remember, the, you know, I, I always talk about risk reward. How much risk do we have by putting fertilizer on the planter with Conceal? I believe there's no risk at all. And uh, it's very easy to get a reward out of it. Lastly, the use of cover crops. It was successful in, in our 20 inch row scenario. I do think that was part of it. Uh, we did get over hundred bushel, but it's something that we've had a lot of failures on. And we have to continue working on this to be better in regard to soil health. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode of Inside PTI. If you got any questions on anything that we covered, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer, or you can email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.